Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Wednesday, which means it is time for another Nos realizes his amiibos are out of position. God damn it, I bumped the table right before starting this, and I just noticed that Marina was in the wrong place. Fuck me. Welcome back to Nos Watches Overlord! Well, that's not going to make people armchair psychologists, is it? Not at all. So in the last episode of Overlord, um, we moved away from Nazareth and, and the everlasting quest for Albedo to attach a fucking bad dragon dildo to Ainz's pelvis. <laughs> uh, to, uh, have in to have Inferia and Enri uh, get some herbs and babysit a fucking baby goblin orc thing. And apparently Hamske leaving the village, sorry, Hamske leaving the forest, sorry, led to the goblin village getting fucked by a giant and a really big snake. And now Enri is going to make it her problem, despite the fact that she has a limited number of soldiers, a limited number of village members. Oh boy. Oh boy, this cannot go poorly at all, and if it does go well, it will be one of the very, very few times in this series where members of the greater populace of Yggdrasil, and I know this is the, Yggdrasil's name of the game, not the world, but they haven't actually given us a name for the world, so I'm going to be calling it Yggdrasil, where they actually show that they can be competent. Like, holy shit. That would be like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Get your, get your fucking Kodak out, because it'll be something that you'll never see again. Anyway, let's have a look in three, two, one, and go. Fucking, it looks like Dobby the fucking house elf, like wearing a potato sack. Monument, what? Oh shit, he's talking about Nazarick. He's talking about Nazarick. Wait, if it's just... No, wait, wait, is it... Wait, is he talking about Nazarick or is he talking about... Mm... Is that about Nazarick or is he talking about... Cocutus's little base? I mean, Cocutus's little base wasn't all that big and it was more like in a swamp than a forest, right? So, it has to be Nazarick, right? But... Didn't... I mean, who else would have, like, that, like, just a big building surrounded by undead? But at the same time, didn't, um, didn't Mare fucking bury it? Didn't Mare just bury the whole thing under dirt? You, you, hmm. Hmm, hmm. It's either Nazarick or there's another necromancer coming around. Jaina Proudmore, is that you? <laughs> oh, God. That's... That's still my favorite thing, though, the implication that, it, like, it, it, those of you who don't care about World of Warcraft or Warcraft in general, don't give a shit. But the idea that Jaina is now practicing necromancy. I'm gonna livestream that at some point. That, that expansion. It's gonna be fun. Oh, god. I, I'm still not a massive fan of this, of this opening, I'm gonna admit. Like, I've just kind of been just, like, listening to it as I've been going through. Like, I, I feel like uh, like, it's not... I don't know, I think because it's just different. Because it's different from the other two. You know what I mean? Like, Cladotonia was very much like, like... Very shouty and angry sounding. Like, WHERE'S MY SOUL?! You know, like... God fucking damn it. I was hoping she would just stay gone. I was hoping that, like, when, when we, when we, like, I know I should have mentioned this before, but this character was really an irritating, and I was hoping that she wouldn't show up again. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know, I, 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 it, I think, honestly, I think if I heard that song in a, the song in a vacuum, I probably would have liked it. Because it sounds like the uh, the end the ending themes from the first two seasons. 
Because we were given this slavery horn. That big fucking hamster. Congrats, Eins. You caused a goddamn... You caused a goddamn fucking, uh... Ecological disaster. The small shadow which burrows in the dark. Okay, no, this isn't Nazarek. This isn't Nazarek. There's some other necromancer who's fucking got his dick out. This sounds like something you should contact Eins about. Be like, hey, fam, there's, there's like another necromancer here. You might want to just fucking nuke it. Yeah. Call. Eins. Why do you not call Eins? You have the literal God Emperor on your side, and it is within his best interest to keep your village alive. Call him up, say, Hey, there's a giant and a snake and a fucking necromancer hanging out on our doorstep. Can you send the fucking pest control around? And Ainz is like, I got you, fam, I'll send truly Nolan. And he just fucking... He sends a goddamn... Ah! I really don't like... She's my least favorite. She's my least favorite. Like, out of, out of like, the... She's a member of the Pleiades, right? Out, out of all the Pleiades, I think she's my least favorite. Like, just, just... Blech. Oh no, she's not part. Of, I don't know. All these red, all these red-headed anime girls, they all look the same. I don't. Uh, uh, what already left my mind? Yeah, Lupus Regina. Yeah. I'm just imagining a fucking chariot with, like, those big mouth. Oh, god, I don't know if Truly Nolan exists outside of- It definitely doesn't exist in China. But Truly Nolan's a pest exterminator service, and they drive around in little, like, Volkswagen Beetles that have big mouse tails attached to the back, and, um, big mouse ears on the roof. So I'm just imagining a fucking stagecoach with that. Just coming round to the village, and Ein steps out. They were delicious. They were also delicious. Oh wait, yeah, no, ogres are intelligent in this world, I forgot. So, you're just making an army of monsters. All right, Henry, what you got? Kill the weak. The ones of you that survive will be determined strong and able to stay. Like, she just goes fucking full-on evil on it. Don't you look at me, you fucks! Oh, God, the CG is so fucking awful. Holy shit. You know what? I'm starting to like you, Henry. I'm starting to like you. Fucking Sugoi as fuck. Jesus, you know what? And you know, Henry, I like you now, Henry. I, I originally I was upset that we went away from Nazarek and there and the quest for Dick. For you, but no, you know what? Keep figuring your shit out. Keep figuring your shit out, and and we'll be good.
Stop being such a nice person, though. Stop it. Because it will wind up with you dead. Like, that, I feel like that's gonna be, that's gonna be just how it goes. Like, if, if she doesn't turn it around and start being just as ruthless as Ainz, she is dead. She's a dead, she's a dead motherfucker. Who said you could leave, slave? <laughs> God, could you imagine, like, how people in Erantel- Like, if this- if she hasn't gone to Erantel yet, could you imagine the look on their faces when, like, like, I imagine she's on a palanquin as well, because that would be just... That would super fucking fit with the, how the goblins treat her. Like, just like, just this peasant girl, like, sitting in a palanquin like this. Just carried by goblins. I only came to sell that dank purple kush. The most magnificent. The most magnificent of magic languages. The archaic language of English. I'm a vassal of Ein's Ulgoon. She just blows the horn, Ein's teleports in. Sup, fuckers. Oh. Uh. You best not sell it! Don't you sell that for drugs! Okay, this is where they're gonna start trying to rob her. She best... She best blow that fucking horn right now. Blow that horn right now, because you are not getting out of there alive. Blow the horn! Blow the horn! Hey! I fucking knew it! Sup, motherfuckers? What you doing? You- you messing with my vassal? <laughs> oh, Ainz, you fucking dumbass. You blew your goddamn cover, like, immediately. Be gone. Be gone, thought. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Grand Vizier, why are you walking funny? Nothing. It's not like- it's not like I got a- a- a metal boot shoved up my ass or anything, no. I'm, it just itches. <laughs> He's the fucking- oh, oh, it's a one-time use. Hey, Narborol! It's almost like everyone, everyone in, uh, in Nazareth was made using a character creator that allows you to make beautiful anime girls. Lucky as hell that fucking, uh, Momonga just happened to roll up.
Like, this could have gone really poorly. For the town, I mean. They'd have to make e they'd have to make Nui rent hell. And I'm out. <laughs> Later, fam. Oh, this is where Momon gets in there. Momon's just like, Alright, I'll do it. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god, it's almost like the Adventurer's Guild are a bunch of corrupt motherfuckers. Oh, your poor town is being absolutely demolished. Well, the only people that can do this are the most expensive assholes. Only the most expensive adventurers can roll up. That'll be, that'll be, like, the cost of selling your village into slavery, thank you. Aw, oh, she fell asleep, aww. Did Momon walk in here while she was asleep and just like, square up thought? <laughs> yeah, no, Momon did. Momon just came in. Momon just was like, nah. Nah. You don't take this request and you don't, and you don't subsidize it. I'm gonna break your kneecaps. You know I'll do it too. Square up! Uh, I liked my idea- I liked my idea better of her just being carried in there by goblins on a palakine. Oh, uh, like, could you imagine how that would go down? Like, she'd be- she'd be treated like a fucking god empress. Fucking. These goblins are. I don't know if they're adorable or jackasses. I don't know. I can't tell. Like, if I was Henry, I'd be like, you hit on me again, you losing your dick. I got this knife. New weapons for everyone, based on your preferences. You are too nice of a person, Henry. Stop it. Like, for real. Like, for real, like, I'm having, like, Mayuri flashbacks. Like, I'm just, like, thinking back to Steins Gate, where just I had, like, a fucking Shinigami eye activate, and just a countdown timer was above her head. And look what fucking happened there. There's no time machine here, either. She's too pure for this world. She's actually, literally too pure for this specific world. And it makes me concerned, because think about what happened to the last group of cinnamon rolls we ran into. What happened? What happened? What happened? Henry, you fuck, don't you dare blue ball us. What happened? Hey, Lupus. I 
keep forget I keep forgetting her name because I don't like her. You know, like out of all you know like she's like the she's the she's the doggo one, right? Like I think out of all of I think out of all of them, I think she's my least favorite. Which is unfortunate because she also gets the most FaceTime. Like the like the one the the quiet one that had the penguin, that one's my favorite, but she, she she's gotten zero time. Of course, fault then then Narborol is like, Narborolo is what was my favorite though, and she has the second most amount of face time. So, I guess it balances out a bit. Don't know. It's almost as if my entire character is based around being an idiot. Because I'm a dumb doggo. <laughs> and they're all dead, except for one. No. Man, it's like, how the fuck can anyone, how the fuck can anyone doubt Enri right now? Like, for absolute real, get a haircut, you fuck! <laughs> God damn it, Inferia. Get a goddamn haircut. <laughs> and if they contacted Ainz... To get him to lend them some golems, then why not just bring up, hey, we've got some goddamn fucking snakes and giants and shit. God. But seriously, though, like, Henry has done everything, like, about as right as, as she possibly could have. How can anyone doubt her as leader of the village? Seriously. Yeah. It's like... Like, seriously, like, Henry is, like, the best suited, like... Like, she's the only person who, after the village got fucking shit-canned... Like, in the space of, what, like, a week? She got the goblins- she got the goblins to work, she built a wall... She rebuilt the village as much as she could. She got the herb shit going again. Like. Like, everyone else in the village is either old or incompetent or both. How could anyone doubt Henry? Even, like, especially her. Like, I get there's being humble, but then there's just being, like, blind to your own talent. Like, especially since, like, the day before she, like, fucking was faced with, like, well, like, fucking, what was that, 15 ogres? And was like, fuck you. Bow your heads, dickheads. I mean, I guess they need to give Inferia something to do, right? They need that, they need him to be the pep talk man, because he's useful for nothing else but making potions. Hooray, though. Oh, boy. So... Getting a little bit of so we're getting a little bit of progress on um on on this whole uh ah. we're getting a little bit of progress on this whole Inferia and Enri arc. It's more Enri than Inferia, which is good because Inferia is not a character, and I wish they would stop trying to make him one. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, but but Enri, I I you know what? When I came into this, I was like, oh, she's. She's she uh, her character arc is done. She exists to serve as a vassal st as a vassal leader for for Ainz. That's fine. Um, but now that we're seeing her in action, no, she's actually a lot more independent than you would think, and she does do some things that I would classify as really fucking dumb. But 
You know what? I, I don't begrudge her any of it. Like, I don't understand why she would go to the Adventurer's Guild instead of contacting Ainz about it. I don't... I mean... I think it would be a better show of force for people to come and join the village if Ainz... If, like, she just, like, sent a message to Ainz... Because they, they have contact with, with, Ainz, with Ainz, even if it's just, like, not even him personally, but it's, um... Uh, the... Na like, I don't know, the Nazarick fucking secretary, you know? <laughs> fucking <laughs> call it up on the phone and there's, like, a fucking really bored NPC with an Indian accent there, like... Oh yes, hello, welcome, thank you for calling, I'm El Gorn, how can I direct your call? Oh, you need some stone golems, okay sir, thank you, I will, uh, I will make sure those get to you in about, uh, three hours. Uh, please wait for the portal to appear at these coordinates, and, uh, please call us if you have any other needs. You know, like, <laughs> that's what I'm imagining, and it would be, and it's, and it's funny, and horrifically offensive. Um... Like, if they can do that and then get golems there to help build a shed within the space of a day, then why not call them up and go, Hey, Nazarek, like, you, you, guys, you guys did the thing with that, with that giant hamster, right? Um, so it turns out there's two more of them. There's a giant snake and a, a giant of, un of unknown form. Uh, they're currently threatening to stomp down the entire forest and everything around it. Um, I was hoping you could send out the pest control. You know, like, being the landlord and all is kind of, is you know, is kind of something we need help with. And that same guy is like, yeah, thank you, we'll go ahead and we will send out, uh, seven homunculuses, and, uh, they will take control of that, and, uh, it will be solved within about 24 hours. Please let us know if you need anything else. Please and thank you. Thank you for calling Nazarek Solutions. <laughs> like, you know, it's like... You know, like, it, like I, I highly doubt these things are anywhere near, like, a threat for even, like, the lowest level Nazarek person. Like, you won't even need to send a Floor Guardian. Like, fuck, even sending a Pleiades would probably be overkill. Like... Shit, dude. <laughs> like, 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 fucking Ainz could just be like, alright, well, send, like, I don't know... Send, send, like, I don't know, like, 20 mid-level zombies to, to each one. Like, if a bunch of the zombies get killed, then, then fuck it. They're, like, summons. Whatever. Who gives a shit? And, you know, it's, like, it's, it's not an issue. I mean, the main thing that would probably require Ainz to take a look at it personally would be, like, that necromancer, which they're alluding to. I mean, like, letting them know that, that'd be, like, Ainz is just immediately... <laughs> Teleports in the middle of Carney, like, okay, where the fuck's this necromancer at? Who's cramping my style? Who, who the fuck? Who the fuck dares to impinge upon my golden throne? You know, like, it, it seems like, it seems like Enri just, like, she knows that Nazareth can provide for them, like, when they need it, because they're not self-sustaining yet, they don't have enough people. And yet, when it comes down to the times where it would be valid to call upon Nazarick for assistance, and also it'd be a nice show of strength to other people be like, oh yeah, no, if we run into any issues, we have our own, we have our landlord to come and help. You know, it's like, it, it, it doesn't make much sense to me to go to the Adventurer's Guild, which, if she lives in this world, she must know that they're corrupt pricks who will overcharge poor people to do something if they determine it, that it's too dangerous. Like, it took fucking what I assume to be Momon and Narborol walking in while Enri was asleep, going, all right, what did she ask for? And the, and the woman was just like, oh, yeah, she asked for this stupid fucking snake and giant. Like, fucking, I'm, I'm planning on just charging her, like, the cost of her entire fucking village. Yeah, it's a fucking stupid piece of shit. And Ainz just jams his sword into the desk, like, no, you're doing it for free. You know what I mean? It's like, there's, there's, like, because Ainz has to be aware of the situation, so he's probably going to be the one who shows up to solve the issue, because he's an adamantite adventurer anyways, so we can just take the job. Um, you know, it's, it's like, really she's taking the long way around to get the same result, 
and it just oh god it just it just does not it just does not really like tick for me as this is what a smart leader does which is weird because there's a lot of other shit she does like rearming the goblins making sure she knows them all by name personally, which increases morale and means that even though they're summons and they are tied to her, they still have free will, which means if they if she was a bitch to them, they probably wouldn't be too too uh enthusiastic about about their job, you know? Like fucking she makes everyone she makes she, like she got those walls up. She fucking made sure to go out get those herbs even though it was dangerous. Like even this, even this goblin village, I mean, assuming it goes well, and especially now that, that her goblins are more equipped, assuming that goes well, getting more goblins under her, under her, uh, wing, basically under her control, means that if some of the goblins do wind up dying, she has replacements. She has a, she has, and also, I'm assuming that some of the goblins that she would have rescued would be female, which means not only does she have replacements, she has the ability to make even more replacements down the line, depending on how, how quickly goblins reproduce. Like, she has a village where she has monsters capable of being the guards. Monsters that are... that are seem to be fairly easy to control because the ogres go by strength. The goblins seem to seem to be humanoid in intelligence, but they appear to be able to follow a leader that they determine is suitable. So, so long as Enri is a, is a suitable leader, and the person that comes after her in however fucking long people live here, yeah, so long as the person that comes after her is suitable, the goblins will always serve Carne Village. You know, and like, and honestly, if they get a weak leader, they're fucking dead anyway. And, but even then. Eins exists, so even if the person who comes after Enri isn't capable, Eins can step in and install a leader of his own that is an extension of his will, and the goblins are certainly gonna fucking respect Eins, because if they respect Enri, they're going to respect him. You know, it's like... Like, she's a very capable, capable leader, and while she does do some things where I'm like, this is going to get you killed in this world, she, she also does... A lot of stuff that is fairly intelligent, and and I appreciate that. And Henry is actually shaping up to be a very good character, and I and I like her a whole bunch. Um, speaking of characters I like, good to see Narborol again. Characters I don't like, Lupus Regina. When 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 Regina first showed, I think I think she was in the first season. I might be thinking of the pure pure Pleiades thing. Now I think about it, I may be mistaken. Um, in, when, like, ever since, like, she was introduced and I, and I got a grasp of her character, at first I was like, oh, it's cool, she's fun, she's bubbly. But the more screen time she has, the more it comes across like, no, she's not bubbly, she's just an idiot. <laughs> Which is a, is, is an issue, because, like, yeah, she's a, she's a Pleiades, she's, she's a ma she's a battle mage, whatever, she's intelligent, cool. Neat, but f fuck, is she like the worst possible one? Like she's like she strikes me as the one where it's like they made all the other ones, and they're like, okay, we've got like some leftover stat points to distribute, not enough to make a full character. Fuck it, put it all in strength, all in dex, charisma as well. Uh, what about int? Ah, eh, fuck it, we can leave that at zero. It's whatever. You know, it's like, like, compared to Narborol, like, you know, who's not very charismatic, but kind of stack underflows into being charismatic because of how aloof she is, and she's really cute, also. Um, like, and just, like, what little we've seen of the other ones, like, fucking, uh, Entoma is adorable despite her creepy voice, and being, a, you know, a giant bug. Uh, the, the CZs who I'm not even going to try and, and identify because I've already gotten lost on their names. Um, they're really cute from what we've seen of them, what little we've seen. Especially the one with the penguin. It's just cute. I like that. Um, like, it seems like just like the Pleiades in general, like, they are all very, very good characters. And then you have Regina, and it's like, Oh, no, this one's an idiot. Like... Like, a fucking... 
Oh, it's like that. It's like that comic. It's like, okay, son, say your first word, and it's just like ba, 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 and then it's like, go on. And it's like the human eye can only see thirty frames a second. It cuts back to the parent. Oh no, it's retarded. Like that's how I feel. That's how I feel when it comes to Regina, and it and it bugs me because like, like her personality is interesting. Like she's like a bubbly fun. Like, haha, I'm an unkillable god being, and I know it. But she's an idiot. Like, I don't know. I, I still don't like idiot characters. I think that's just a, like a personal bias. Um, the adventurer from the first season, the other redhead, uh, who had the who had the potion initially, and you know, I, and Eines gave her the red one. Um, she keeps showing up in the background. She's getting nowhere near the amount of screen time though that I think she deserves because like she's a long-standing character who desperately needs some development and I feel like Regina's role like not as like Nazarick Nazarick uh ambassador uh couldn't be like it like that one couldn't be fulfilled by her but I feel like Henry's spunky best friend probably could have been filled by her a bit you know I don't know that's just, that's just me. Like, very minor complaints. Like, literally, the absolute meaniest of complaints. Like, I, I really do enjoy this season. Like, there's there hasn't really been a, a low point yet. Like, there was that initial, like, oh, we're not sticking with Nazareth, and then it just shot right the fuck back up. Like, it is good. I like it. Really, the only critical complaints I have is long-standing things that is just mostly just personal preference. That's literally all it comes down to. And when you can take an anime and just boil down criticisms to personal preference, that's how you know you've got a good anime. Because then you can just look past your personal preferences and still, you know what, I still see the merits in that. Not like Gate, which is a fucking irredeemable pile of garbage. <laughs> that train's continuing forever. Everybody, let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. Whether you agree, disagree, or you picked up on something that you that you hoped I would talk about but I didn't uh, like for example for, for example Henry doubting yourself and becoming the village chief I already said my piece on that so I'm not repeating myself oh boy anyway so yeah do all that remember to like comment favorite subscribe and share on social media because that helps a whole bunch and hit that bell because YouTube is stupid and wants you to subscribe twice and if you really love my content you can always support me on patreon uh, which gets you the ability to enter our patrons-only Discord channel on the server, where you can suggest things to be let's played, reacted to, reviewed, whatever. Anyway, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you in a round.